Here's the deal. As we now, just now, start talking about how to speak this prophetic stuff, if you want your words to matter, you have to learn to see past what is the darkness or what isn't the absence of light and start to discern what can be. In other words, what God wants to put there instead. So where you see strife and conflict, you can be sure that God wants to put peace. So good for you. You notice people fighting. That doesn't make you spiritual. What makes you spiritual or dialed into Jesus is how you, what does God want to do in that darkness? What does he want to put there instead? Now, this is all of our stories. Look at this. Just in case you're thinking, oh, you're just minimizing sin or you're, you're skimming over that. Look, this is Ephesians 2. This is where the Apostle Paul, one of the early followers and founders of Christianity, one of those guys, this is what he wrote about the story of the people who had become followers of Jesus. Look at this. He says, as for you, you were dead in your transgressions. Let's just say it. You were dead in your sin, which you used to live, which you, when you followed the ways of this world, you are a follower, not a leader. You thought you were, but you weren't. And of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit is now at work in those who are disobedient. So you're disobedient. Without even knowing it, you're following, you're playing into Satan's hand. You were just doing it. Like everybody else. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. And like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. Put it on a sign and start picketing with that. Or we keep reading. <laughs> but, I know I've done this before. This is so huge. Yes, dead. Yes, sinful. Yes, dark. Yes, deserving of punishment and wrath. Yes, 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 but. We have to see this. Without the but, you don't have the gospel. You don't have the good news. Jesus didn't come for the first part. He, in other words, to reinforce and go, bad, bad humans. Let's leave it at that. No, nah, you've been warned. And then up he goes. He didn't do that. He came into that darkness to insert something powerful. Watch. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ. Yeah, even when we were dead in transgressions. It's by grace you've been saved, and God raised us up with Christ, seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparably great riches of his grace, expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. We are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Whatever darkness you find in your life or, or around you or you can point out in someone else, this is the but God that God wants to put in there. Like, like the, the most idiotic, demonic, sinful, painful person in your life, this can be their destiny. Do you understand? This is what God wants. This is what God wants for every single human being on the earth. And until you're partnering with this part of the message, you're part of the problem.